Hi, this is Marguerite um, sharing a junk journal made from a manila envelope. This is a small envelope. It's a six and a half by nine and a half uh, inch envelope. And I used two signatures in this with a pamphlet stitch. And this, the images I used were from Ephemeris Vintage Garden, one of the kits. I wanted to have a sewing theme, so I did a lot of sewing on the pages and uh, not too many embellishments. This one is going to be for a teenage girl who's graduating from the eighth grade, so about 14 years old. Um, and I wanted to keep it simple, um, as I usually do. I didn't um, want anything on the outside other than the illustration, because um, I want it to be able to slide into a bookshelf. The only thing that I did put was this button uh, to hold the ribbon. And this, the, the button itself has a really long shank, so it was kind of useful for this project. Um, and um, it works, it works here, so I thought that looked kind of nice when it is all bound and I could uh, I could twist it around there's even more room on the shank to twist it more if I wanted to but I thought um, just kind of tucking it under works like this so I used two signatures as I said each signature has about five pages and um, I reinforced the envelope I have one I can show you here one that's I'm working on right now. What I usually do is I score where I want the center to be, um, you know, the, the the distance. This is a quarter inch. But this one I was going to put two. I put two signatures, so I made this a half an inch. And then what I do is I take a piece of um, very thin um, cardstock, nothing too bulky. I don't think I can see what's in here anymore. Oh, this was a cereal box, probably Cheerios. Um, and I cut a couple pieces and I slide the first one all the way down, glue it on the inside. For this one I also glued a piece into the spine to make the spine a little bit more firm. And then I glue the second piece into here so it's, it's a little bit more sturdy. This one I put some eyelets, uh, just, you know, for how I'm going to be attaching the signatures later. Um, I will write a little note, leave something here um, for the person it's intended for. Other than that, I'll just do a quick flip through. I kept the signature or the pages plain because I do want it to be kind of a journal. I did some sewing into the pages and I also put washi tape on some of the pages just to keep you know keep them from tearing. In addition to Ephemeris Vintage Garden this kit I also used this paper pad lost and found from my mind's eye. This is a basic one from Michaels 180 pages. It is so useful. I have used it for so many projects. And the good thing about this paper is that it's a little bit on the thinner side. It's not so thick. So when you're when you are making journals where you do want multiple pages where you want to write on, um, this is great. It's all, it's also one sided. So you have you know the illustration or the the design on one page and then it's blank on the other side. So what I do is I tear out a bunch, I tea dye them and then I put them in the journals and it works really well. So here, as I said, I did some sewing. I wanted to be able to, to see it on the top and the bottom, so I left my strings. Um, I have a few little cutouts, also from Ephemeris Vintage Garden, little tags. And then this is also sewn in. Stamping was the other kind of basic thing that I did, not too much of it couple more of these tags. These were from Halloween. They say boo underneath, so I just added another cutout and 
did that, put that in there. There's another, this is a tag sewn. I think this is, I don't know if that's a farmer's vintage garden, I'm not sure. This is from that paper pad. And it works nice with the brown there. Again, just another little tag. Sewing obviously was a theme. Um, I did not make it too thick. I'm gonna let her add what she wants, so I just did a few, a little bit of stamping. Here again is more washi tape. You know, I used the green to match the green with the washi tape, and then green ribbon. I'll put, I'll hang something else off of this little pin. Here's the signature, the two signatures. Here's the spine right in the middle, and this is where I tied the um, button. This is again sewn in. I put one glassine envelope just with a little something in there. This is a fold over. So to make this little pocket, I just, it's a little bit short, and then I just folded it over, added some on, and then used this double-sided tape to make the little the pocket. Again, these are all, these are sewn. This one's also sewn. Still need to put a ribbon on this one, though. This is just a piece of note paper. Here's the other pocket that's open here. Another stamp, more sewing, and then the back. So for this, there is a pocket here. What I did was I glued a magnet underneath before I uh, attached the paper onto here. And then I took a washer, I think I just got this from the hardware store, double-sided tape on the back of the washer and then double-sided tape um, on this ribbon to kind of just, you know, decorate it a little bit more. Just a few small tags in here. Uh, nothing too, nothing too bulky. So this closes quite, quite nicely, quite fine. And that is it. So I'll put a ta or a link at the bottom of the page of the video for anyone who is interested in this particular kit, um, Ephemeris Vintage Garden. Thank you.